All right, so tonight we're going to kick it off by playing this. Um, it's a mod, but it's not really a mod. It's more of a map pack from Fenakai, and it is called Portal Forever Testing. Now, we did actually play in our road. I think it was Road to Master Quest uh, last year or maybe earlier on in this year. We did play like the original version of this, uh, which is now called uh, PFT Classic, I believe. But uh, just to read here from the page, it's a fan, fan created modification for Portal 2 container variety of custom built levels for the game. It originally started as a simple map pack back in September 2019. The mod has changed in the scope and purpose multiple times. First, the mod was going to explore the in-universe story behind Aperture Science's deadly lasers. After some time, it grew large in scope and its story about a part-time scientist and test subject volunteer in the labs trying to escape the facility aided by the help of a personality core named David. Eventually, after heavy and in hindsight most unjuiced criticism, the mod was restarted into a modular episodic model featuring the former protagonists as they explored the facility in a mostly spontaneous story. It was after several more months of troubled development that the mod change form once more into what is arguably the mod's most ideal form, a collection of various maps. No overcomplicated story or plot, no more dedicated playtesting process, no Steam Workshop limits, and no more stress. Portal Forever Testing is a mod that draws from the best, draws from the best aspects of Portal 2 modding while avoiding the rest. By combining the flexibility of Portal 2's modding tools, the source engine, source mod format, and the creative style of individual maps on Steam Workshop, Forever Testing has allowed its creators to realize its ideas within the game that would not be possible otherwise. Did we get all of that? Hopefully we did. So yeah, this is, um, like I say, it's Portal Forever Testing. And it is by Benakai. And uh, I'm just going to change the slightly here so without further ado let us jump in so we got one two three four five and then we have an extra one as well so standing on the shoulders of giants was actually the um name of the original request and there is a map for that on the workshop but the workshop does sort of point you in this direction now so uh yeah here we go Well, that statement's false, isn't it, Atom? Clearly, there is somebody in chat. How you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty, then. Let's see what we got here, then, shall we? It's very... Uh, very mono-looking, isn't it? Why is the chat text so dark? That is a good question. Why is the chat text so dark? Ah. Uh. Ah, oh. oh, done again. Nope, we're good. All right, so <laughs> brief interlude over. Uh, we got our chat fixed and uh, let's uh, crack on, shall we? Let's crack on. Tunes, this is the tunes. Everything seems, I don't know, everything looks a little weird. Okay, I'm starting college soon. Wow. Yeah, my, my son actually started um, secondary school today, which was uh, crazy. All right, so. What we got over here? There's a funnel. We're going to want the light bridge, it seems, to get over here. It's gone, nerdly. I didn't. Uh, there wasn't a button over there, so I do need to take the funnel. That's not the funnel. The need to take the light bridge over there. Guessing we're going to funnel that somewhere. You're uh, really hitting the 3D modeling hard, the uh, Doctress. I 
Okay, so we could do this. Which is all well and good. Can we walk out of bounds almost? Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> totally like... Yeah, th this is totally where I'm supposed to be. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Alright, um, anyway. Let's... Um, I wonder if I could... Okay, there is a pole here. I don't mean to break things. Breaking things just seems to happen. Didn't actually see that portal there. The race map with gels. So is it like the uh, gelosity maps? Digging these tunes. These tunes are pretty cool. Alright, so I guess there's a portal here. Yeah, okay, so now that I've realized that. Things be happening. Music's proper kicking in now, look. Some right good tunes. That was a funnel tune. I'm gonna stand this bump for the rest of the stream. That's pretty epic. I like that. Alright, so we can walk back over here and fall into the water. No, we're not. So now with that in place, we can go over here for a bit. So the exit is up there. I wonder if... Okay. I think I may have acted a little bit too hastily there. Blue portals too. I remember playing the first blue portals. Okay, so I think hmm. maybe then I would need to okay so what I thought was I could maybe put a pole bottom and top and I could get some gel to go a little bit higher perhaps So I guess I'm going to want the cube here. I think I guess that's all I really need to do, isn't it? 
And now that I have this here, I can bring the cube over here. Yes, that makes sense. Kinda. Kinda makes sense. Give me that custom music. So we're going to do that again. Maybe try and use the cube maybe to jump up onto this bit. Just for safety purposes. And then we get the gem. Um, okay, so we'll go back through here. can fire up to here. Okay. So, from here. There's a little viewing platform here. Leap of faith, I guess. Do we not need to remove the cube, though? So, could we not do... something like this? Yo, crazy! What's going on? Did they customise the cube? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, Atom, I'll be honest. Never really took that much notice of the cube. Uh, yeah, well, there's an Aperture logo on it. It's not normally an Aperture logo on it, is there? Alright, well, the music was jamming. I'll give it that. Next one is a short break. I'm good, thanks, uh, Crazy. Uh, I'll go back and take another look after Nerdling. Um, I did see something. I, I just never thought to actually have a look at it. I think this is the map we played last night, though, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is the one of uh, Fenakai's we played last night. Consider this a <coughs> short break on formal testing. <clears throat> as soon as you re-enter the building... At I don't know if there's anything... Different I'm about this one. Back down to the testing area. I don't want to risk your escape any longer than I am obligated to by federal regulations. And it turns that off. And then we got to here. Remember when I said that I do not have very much control here and asked you to behave? Well, among the few things that I do have control over, cameras are the most useful. I'm sure you'll be fine, uh, Doctor. You seem, like I said, you seem to have been spending a lot of time recently um, getting, certainly getting the practice with Blender and different bits and pieces, so. It was like, you're going to go well equipped. I remember when I first started college and it was just an absolute minefield. 
first time I'd ever done any like proper programming outside of uh, HTML website stuff. I've often thought though since like I graduated and stuff, I kind of wish I'd have done more, kind of like specialized more in um, like games design and games like game stuff rather than just doing like the generic um, computer science course as such. That would have been pretty cool. You were using Unreal 4 Engine for the game design? I just remember when I was at, um, when I was at uni, um, Unreal Tournament 2004 was like uh, a game that we was playing a lot of at the time and I always remember trying to, hey there's a lost numbers. Can you find all the numbers? Maybe. Um, well, there's four. Uh, yeah, I kind of remember the Unreal Tournament 24, uh, 2004 came with um, the the mapping tools for, for the game and everything. I always remember it was like a minefield trying to work out how to freaking place just a simple uh, block as such. Because I didn't really understand what I was doing, really. Uh, anyway, I digress. Um, so where is 8? Because 15's there. So where is 8? We have missed number 8. Give me number 8. 8 comes before 15. There's 8. There's 15. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, we do 42. All our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Yes, I remember the numbers from Lost. Just a shame I don't really understand and what actually happened in that TV show. Anyway, what have we got here? We've got a cube. And it's not like we've got anywhere else to put it at the moment. There's 16. Two more to find. I see a turret up there. Yeah, the, the the first couple of the first couple of series were okay, and then it just kind of turned into like a massive time travel kind of weird thing, and I just kind of completely, I completely and utterly got a bit lost with it. Didn't, no, no, no pun intended. Turrets in there. Well, I think that's just sort of part and parcel of kind of doing anything new, isn't it? It's all about balance, but you know, I'm sure, I'm sure that the uh, your college will be able to sort of balance that. Um, they'll be able to balance it for you, for lack of a better term. And I'm sure that your uh, workload won't be too over the top. But like I say, it's it's it'll be good if you can kind of get that kind of early jump start there as well. If you've been kind of trying to learn stuff yourself. And oh, that's 23, 42. Uh, yeah, if you're getting that kind of jump start, I, I remember having that sort of like advantage when I went to university as well because a lot of people on my course um, at university hadn't done um, C++ programming before, but I'd already done two years of it at college. So um, yeah, if you've ever got that sort of... I, can't, I guess I can't go that way. Um, if you ever get that sort of jump start, it definitely helps. So the fact that you know, you've spent your summer and you've been doing that sort of thing 
you've certainly put yourself in a good position going forwards. Alright, so don't get on there. I'm gonna break stuff and go out of bounds again. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about, Fumbly. I am breaking nothing. I'm just taking the scenic route. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go over here. I suppose we'll do it the right way. Uh. Uh Invisible wall will be like okay. Man can't even open the door. Hey. Oh yeah, I mean, like testing your own map is. Um, I, I I mean I personally know from experience as well. It's it's like. I know there's there's some very experienced map makers here in the chat, actually, but for me personally, playtesting a map on your own is one of the hardest things to do. What's the deal here? Do I need the funnel? I guess I do. Okay, fair enough. What do I? Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll use the funnel. I'll give you that one. Uh, sure. Yeah, but playing, playing, uh, trying to play test and like iron out stuff with your own maps is like, I personally, I think it's one of the hardest things you can do. Because as, as the map maker, you know how your map is meant to be solved, so to kind of see it in a different light and try and deviate from the intent, what you consider the intended solution, is not the easiest thing to do. So I haven't found forty-two yet. I'm I'm upset. So where can I see that? Let's take that out of the way a minute. Oh, there's 42. I'm glad to look down there. Um. So, a quick question. I may be going crazy, but where exactly was the cube again? The cube was there. The cube was there. I've not sort of used uh, what, what what was this area for? I'm confused. I am confused. Unless. Oh, that's right. Invisible walls. My old nemesis, the invisible wall.
He goes along with my old nemesis, the trapping situation. <laughs> no, it's not a trapping situation. But that's not helpful. That's not helpful. Um... What? Now, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure when I tried that door before, it did not open. Just, just, just point that out there. this and do this to here. Then I guess we're going to want to take the funnel back. Do that. Now... Was it just me... Was it just me? Or was there a whole host of buttons that I didn't use in that map? Like this one. So, this one. What did I touch? <laughs> um, sure. Wait a minute, there's like a whole... Oh, we got to here, right? We, we got to here legitimately. What? Um... Okay, I'm... I'm confused. I clearly, like, broke some triggers. That's fine. Expected. I are good at breaking they say stuff. Great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Um. Where do I get the impression? You royally... What the... Alright. Um... I should probably go and get the portal gun as well, right? That may or may not help my situation. I'm... royally confused about this one, though. I will be honest. So am I meant to? So I'm meant to bring a cube. I am meant to bring a cube down to here then. Ah, that makes sense. So this cube would come over here.
Alright, so that was the exit of the map then. So the exit of the map is to drop the cube onto this outside. It'll come through this pipe here. Yeah. It's not the same cube, but hey-ho. I'll take it. And yeah, the map just ends. Uh, okay. It's a little confusing. Okay. This is a little bit dark. Looks pretty nice. Some custom ant lines. Interesting. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do then is put that on there, press the button, and time that jump through there like that. Alright, okay, that was very short-lived. Uh, uh, this is uh, Lockdown, I think it was called. Sorry, I was miles away at that point. Something wrong with this forest. It's not particularly high res. You don't normally press E on these doors. What on earth is this? I should probably save before I start messing about with something that looks like it's going to chop my hand off. <laughs> yeah. No cube for me, I guess. Um, any thoughts on which way we should go? Mm, I'm not sure. We'll go through here. I don't think that was the right way to go, guys. I did say bridge on the wall.
cube here point to there. Then we're going to need laser from the other room to go to there. Um, two cubes at least. Two cubes. It's coming out of there with some force, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yes, the, the room was flooded, yeah. That is great. Why didn't I try and do this before? Probably because I'm a moron. Right, so... Probably take this with me. I wonder if... There's a solitary cube in this one, and we have to stand on a button and fire a portal. Is the next episode of 24 about to start? So there's another cube somewhere. OK, 
Okay. Do we use the cog on the button? Okay. Sure. Ah, oh, I called it. Hey, there's my cake. Give me my cake here, man. <clears throat> I just love the way it kind of like rotated into uh, position. And uh, we have some uh, different bits and pieces there from Fenakai. Alrighty then, well. That was forever testing. I mean, the hammer, the hammer work was alright. Um, I just think Probably some of the port, the puzzles and things were not great. I need to turn no intro on as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was okay. You know, it was just as as it kind of said, it wasn't meant to be anything else other than um, wasn't meant to be anything else other than just some maps that he'd made. I know it was packaged up into a mod, but that's not um, what it was meant to be. All right, let's move on to Portal 2 OOT Project Intro Map Time Traveling. Um, you search around the ruins of an ancient laboratory when you suddenly fall inside a desolate room with no way to return. You explore your surroundings in the hope of getting out. The intro of, of a time traveling centered map series, but before get going into the actual test, a few concepts must be learned. Changing the past will change the future. Events in between will affect the gameplay. Uh, you can respawn the future objects by changing the location of their past counterparts. Time Gate is the Aperture Science Chrono Traveling Device. It was based on a video I made three years ago on YouTube. Check out the YouTube link to my channel. Also, it's not 100%, it's my first 100% hammer made map. Uh, Alright, so this sounds very similar to... Uh, it's an old map, I'll be honest. It sounds very similar to kind of like the... Um, uh, uh, portal Reloaded kind of concept here. With this one. So... It's maybe interesting. Response cube. Right, so I can I take this through here with me? I cannot. That's fine, but it's affected that and brought that across to here. And so I want a cube over here now, right? I love that there's like the difference like in the atmosphere here. Um Yes, okay, I, I get that now. So it's there, but it's not there. Alright. I think I got this. And we exit into a dev room. Alright, so let's go on to the um another intro map, time and space. Interesting. I just need to make this a little bit bigger. 
Um, all right, time space update. So I'm not to find my file texture, but I did find a fix for the visual bug you may have found when looking through portals. At the start of the map, please enter our portal fast path zero in the develop console. This will remove the maximum visible portal limit, which is four by default. Allow you to see the range of portals as intended. Uh, this place sure is weird. The huge device allowed time traveling. You continue your path in the next area, unsure what to expect. The intro of the, the intro of a time traveling sensitive map series, but before going out to a few concepts must be learned. So yes, yeah, same sort of thing. Based on a map I made, drawn paper a long time ago, and yes, can solve it, just think with time traveling. Also here, two little secrets in the map, try to find them. Just to clarify something, red color is past, yellow color is present, and blue is future. Okay. So let's post that in there. All right, I already forgot on what uh, color is what. Didn't take long, did it? It did not take long. All right, portal gun acquired. Secrets. Whoa. Yes, I believe I have played Quinton's um, map series a long time ago. Well, it's a secret, but I can't take it with me. Let's say. So that looks like it's completely broken this. So from this point of view, I can't travel through time. What happens to portals? Portals remain. I think I need a portal in the other area here. So I'd need to... go through here. That has a big number two on the floor. That seemed to open an exit. Oh, so many portals. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-oh. 
Uh, I think this came first, actually. Crazy, this was uh, 2015. Do this and this. Need to portal there. Hold on. Um, red is the past. So I can remember that. Red is the past. So whatever I put here should persist in the future, right? Oh, well, let's just move this pole then. Um, yeah, I need to pull on there. to escape here. My time traveling skills appear to be a little bit on the rusty side, I'll be honest. Oh, excuse me. I'd do that there. Yeah, you see, I need to get out of here. Leo, what's going on? What is going on? How you doing? I need to get into here almost. In the past, so I can go in there in the future. The present. Oh, jeez. I apologize for this. 
should not be tired. See, from here I can't go anywhere, right? Um... These port leads to the same place. me what I did but we did it that's 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 the that's the point here <laughs> all right a couple of cool maps very um very cool indeed uh very cool concept uh fumbly fumbly did you not hear what I said I said don't ask me what I did <laughs> just rude just rude. All right, we've got Himalayas from Determinated. Uh, you got a heart of glass or a heart of stone? Just wait until you get. Wait till I get you home. We got no. We've got no future. We've got no past here today. Built to last in every city and every nation, from Lake Geneva to Finland Station. This is a simple test involving flings from fizzle, 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 fizzlers. Uh, only one cube. <laughs> Hi again. I've been gone for a while, and a lot has happened in my life since last time I uploaded a test. But I hope my absence wasn't too much of a bother. Uh, I'm hoping to do more mapping soon. Just so keep an eye out. No promises though. No glitches, tricks, poor bumping, keep firing on engineers required or intended. If it feels wrong, it probably is. So look at the change notes to see the changes. I cannot talk. Let's just jump into here. And hopefully my solving skills are better than my speaking skills. Uh, all right, so uh, let's go drop there. I don't want to do something like that. But I guess. Also probably going to want to do something like this. a nice little item. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, we can't pull onto that. Let's go on Ascendants. Uh, I can't remember if I said hello to you. Apologies if not. Hope you're well. Um, oh, no, stop yawning. I apologize, guys. Very rude. kind of looks like it should be usable but the grating is like really hidden in the middle which is the kicker so in place pull there yep it's ninja move anyway but I had to try it some more height okay basic pause okay yeah not seeing the obvious this and this
There we go. Alright. Why am I breaking things? Because... Just because... Is what I do. No, I'll be completely honest. I'm so used to cubes just not auto respawning these days. Alright, let's try that again. Okay. So that will do that. That will do that. Then I want to do. Look at this ledge. Like, can't pull on this ledge. We can come across to here. Then what? Excuse me. Excuse me. This, this this cube needs to be taught a lesson. First of all, just my hand and spins off in all sorts of directions. That ain't that ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Secondly. You do not come out of the dropper upside down. It's so not cool again. Alright, so we're going to need to do some. Uh -huh. Well. That's not what I wanted to do. I will be completely honest. Because now I don't have a portal on that side. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess we do this again in the interest of playing fairly. Does that mean I have to put up with this cube that's going to be upside down and... Yep. I rename you Australia Cube. There we go. 
I rename you Fumbly. <laughs> that was a pretty cool puzzle. Pretty cool puzzle. Yeah, pretty simple. I just made the usual knock hash of it. Uh, next up, we got Command Center by Sam Fizz. Let's see what we got in store for this one. Four out of ten. Confined to your control room. Use the buttons at your disposable to manipulate the chamber and unlock the exit. Oh dear. Uh, this sounds like one of those um, maze maps. Since I never expected you to make it this far, I have to build this new course just for you. Now let's continue testing. Yo, Megist. What's going on? How you diddling, doodling? Alright, so... Okay. Sleepy? Get some sleep, man. small island in an endless sea. Alright, so we're going to bring this through here. temporarily bring that across to there before we realize we've lost it because of things and stuff. Where else can I send that? I can send over there. Okay, so let's start that again, shall we? Over there. Well, actually, I thought I could do that. I can't because of that. Actually, I can do that because that is going to do that. So, send that over to the... Oh. Really? I call Major League BS on that. Think you recognize this one, crazy? Ah, okay, this, okay, let's see what to do. I see, I see what we can do. Gonna fling the queue over here. Alright. A ball has been dispensed. Yeah. So we 
send that to there and then there. Okay. Let's got rid of that for now. So then... That was just literally to get that. So I want the I want the cube here now, right? So okay, I'll do this. Here. thing is I want to be in the funnel myself. I think. And that's why we don't play Megas maps anymore. get in here. And then we get into here. And then we push it back to give us that. And then we pull this back. Think. All right, that's done. But what's this shady area over here? Oh, it's just a return path. It's just a return path. All right, well. I mean, it was well thought out. It's pretty nicely designed. Um, but, yeah, I'm not yeah, a massive yeah, fan of, like, yeah. the whole do-everything-from-a-box kind of map. They're a bit too uh, mazy, mazy-fired. But, um, no, it looks pretty nice. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. All right, the Cube version 1 from Campus 66. I think that was. Oh, sorry, Campus 666. Ah, look at that map. Uh, this chamber is an experiment, experiment about how many normal chambers can fit in a cube. Four chambers, one box. Please have fun. Welcome, test subject. It's Cave Prime from Earth One. I am speaking to you. Yikes! I haven't played a community space. test chamber with Cave Johnson lines for such a long time. My assistant Greg tells me none of that's true. Got excited. You are the first test subject we have ever sent into a parallel universe, which apparently has nothing to do with time travel. Still exciting. Anyway, you should be seeing a test chamber in front of you. We designed it. Those backwater universe yokels built it, and you're going to test it. Remember, you got to let us know if it works or not. Otherwise, you're wasting everybody's time on two Earths. All right, get to it. Uh huh. Oh, 
oh, there's something up here. Oh boy. Okay, um... You'll never make this puzzle ever. Who requested it? Uh, question. Uh, this was an anonymous requestee. time. do this instead then. Uh, that was dot and x. Don't know where x is. is an exit requirement. needed for. Let's go on, Mika. Hope you're well, buddy. Alright. Traditional Ascent. Oh, sorry. Transitional Ascent, even, is our next map. Like a hammer map. Oh, it's one from the uh, the Chroma competition. It's the first place entry. Okay. 
some more lengthy map where things change as you rise to the top. Keep a keen eye for maybe a secret nook or cranny or two, nook and cranny or two. Uh, for the Map Labs 14 competition, Chroma was the first place and the winner of that competition. Thank you to all the judges and all the kind words on my entry. And thanks to everyone who entered. Alrighty then. So I think the only other one of these that I've played is um, the Demon, Ar Demon Arisen. And I can't remember who he collabed with. Uh, his map, which was like the very much the... Um, I got like the 20s, 1920s kind of vibe from. So, uh. Alright, this one should be pretty good. We have Mono Portal. as well. It's like this map was made for Nock. Alrighty then. Let's begin. guess we'll begin by killing ourselves. Alright, so let's imagine we didn't just kill ourselves. And we actually did something like this instead. the worst map you could request. Um, you ever heard of uh, Pusher? Alright, not seeing any uh, nooks and crannies there. Some different music now. Pretty cool. Got an area over there. To which we can take that. get this over here using the mono portal like so pretty nice pretty nice so far so good Back tube and smack our head on the way. Okay. Light bridge blocks our path, but it's fine because we can get around it like this. Just checking to see if there's any outbound stuff going on over here. through there like that but then not actually sure how else I would have done that to be fair 
So all my portals and everything have turned off, so maybe I was meant to, uh, maybe I was meant to go through there. It was acted more like a, um, it acted more like a, uh, a purple fizzler field, I can't think of what they're called. Cage light judging. Our abstract. Somebody talking about abstract. to disable this. Missing something. No worries, Doctress.
Alright, this is, uh... that was going to happen. Some real solid, like, portal techniques in this one, which is really nice, like some of the old-fashioned kind of stuff. We got an upgrade. Huzzah. Yeah, it was pretty neat, uh, switching to the portal guns, I agree. Alright, so we need to activate the laser first. So weird, like seeing the portal colors. There we go. And I can see why this, uh, maybe you want this one, like. Keeps on giving. outputs even after all this time we're still getting them wrong the little thing up there that we need to do do need to get that cube though it's probably not the wisest of moves This time. Excellent. Pro tip, quick save. Oh, do we get a lifestyle roller coaster ride? Oh, that's pretty cool. Is that why you told me to quick save? 
Yo, Metro Ham, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I take back what I said. I'm glad. I was like, what's happened to that gel bomb? But there's a vac tube there that's pulling it up, isn't there? Alright, here we go. Special thanks to Aussie, Spam, Sprocket, Rocket, Alex Zero, Mache, Permatemp, uh, Chris Wyland, Cer Cerulean, sorry for actually butchering your name, Val Valachan, and Team Spen, and many more wonderful people on the Thinking with Portals Discord server. Hey, look. Um, where do you think you're going, my cake? How dare you? <laughs> Congratulations! Don't worry about it, Mika. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Just take whatever time you need, buddy. Oh, that was a pretty cool map. I'll be honest. Pretty good, pretty good. All right, Chambers of Science, we're back to um, Campus 666. Uh, looks like a relatively small one. First level, hope Just you so enjoy. You know, this isn't two way. I can't hear a damn thing you're saying, so don't waste any oxygen trying to talk. What? Ah, my assistant Greg says, some of these alternate Earths may not have oxygen. The air might be nitrogen or methane or well, everybody's head might be inside out. So just take little itty bitty breaths. And if anybody asks you why your head's inside out, remember it's only inside out from their perspective. And you're fine. Head wise. Trouble wise, you're in a lot of it and you should probably run. So that crazy. Up, Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate Let's it. Test this test. One of those classic, like, first tests where the default room size wasn't even changed. And now we get Chambers of Science number two! Also by Campus. And... Conversion gel tests how well you can actually use it since only a few chambers use this material. Two or three out of ten. Hey there. Man, oh man. Wow. Greg's multiple universe theory was dicey, but you're pulling through with flying colors. We're all very proud of Greg. Oh, and you. Alright, so now that we've dealt with that little inconvenience. Do we have to sell these at the same time, I think? I guess. Should uh, 
I'll leave it there for now. I mean, the sheer size of this one kind of says it all, I guess. So I gotta get Jill there. I didn't need to do that, did I? I respawned that. And all I need to do is this. Although I did kind of mess it up a little bit. It's good to hear that you're getting the help, Minka. Uh, definitely good to hear that you're getting some help. I certainly learned from my little moment at the beginning of this year that, um, you know, I, I, I personally... I was bottling everything up and I kind of felt like I, I had to deal with things myself because I was like, um, I've just felt like I was, I had to deal with things. I had to get on with things and I've sort of learned more than anything when I went through my stuff at the beginning of this year that, you know, the best thing to do really is to talk. So, uh, I really hope that, you know, you can talk through your issues, Minka, and hopefully you can get the help that you need. All right. Gelocity time trial track one. And of course, echo whatever, what Formula just said as well. So I've, uh, as I said to you before, my DMs are always open. If you ever want to just chat about, you know, anything, if you've got anything on your mind, you just feel like you need to talk to somebody. My, you know, my DMs are always open. All right, anyway, we should look at the uh, description to this. A uh, slightly modified version of Jolosity 1 race map. This time you don't have to complete a compete against your friend, but you have to fight against the clock. Use your still to reach the finish line as fast as you can. You'll probably need a few laps until you know all the tricks. So give it at least a second try. Um... Yikes. Um, okay. So, what's... Do you, so, I had to beat silver time? Yeah, what's, what's the silver time, though? Oh, okay. It's 
not a puzzle. It's hell. I created this test to let the humans feel good about themselves. So it's a 107. It is extremely easy. Just follow the arrows. I'm just going backwards here. So that takes me back to the beginning. Okay. These sorts of things are not my forte, I'll be absolutely honest. I don't even think I did. I don't even think I did the thing at the end of um, after tag, if I'm honest. Yeah, I, um, Steam Stream is on the the top ten. He is, uh, oh, sorry, they are sitting on um, position nine, look, with a fifty-five nine. So the challenge we've been set is to um, do it in less than less than the silver time, which is less than one o seven. So we need to shave off like seventeen seconds. But then we did die, so... How you doing, Steam Stream? Hope you well, buddy. That's, uh... Shocking. Ah, missed it. You son of a biscuit. You spent ten hours on it? Jeez. I mean, that was an improvement by about Keep five seconds, right? right?
not a bad second effort though. Ah, uh, that was pretty bad. Ah! Messed it up at the last minute. On 16. I gotta be missing some shortcuts somewhere though. do that one, do I? I can probably, ah, I can probably hit the floor there, though. I think the floor's portable, isn't it? Congratulations. You've beaten your own record. Ah. Keeping speed around those corners, man, is like the worst. Well done. Ah. No! <laughs> oh, I was close. I was close. Ah, I start up my corner though. Something opening up behind me when I go past that area there, and I don't know what it is. I kind of feel like it could be a shortcut though. You son of a... We haven't quite hit the bronze time by 0 0.01 of a second.
Congratulations. <sighs> You've beaten All right. your own well, record. We got close. We got close, but I think uh, uh, I, th I think I'm done on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the racing kind of things aren't um, the racing maps aren't my kind of uh, forte. I'm not very good when it comes to like being accurate. Gotta watch your attempts. Um. Man, I, 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 so I'm so far behind on that. Uh, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> the right side, you can shoot large portal panel twice, then shoot the Good, portal. Right. All hail the cloud. Below, you know, this it splits. Try basic bunny hopping. All right, I think I'm uh, I caught up. Um, yeah, thanks for the... Um, thank you for the um, encouragement throughout that. I appreciate that. All right, this is a Light Slicer by SP... SP Key? SP... SP Key? SP Key? SP Key? SP Key? Uh, no, not Light Slicer. It's logical rolling around white track platform and a laser. This said it was inspired by other maps such as a fumbly bumbly map, a one by Determinated, one by Leo, and one by K7 Avenger. Um, some notes, and it's five and a half out of ten. And well, Libby and Narcodes did some playtesting on this one. Alrighty then. So like Doctress, if you are going. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Catch you later. A six out of ten. My praise from the Maestro. My praise indeed. All right, so let's try and do. Raises a platform. Oh, is that one of Libby's things? Okay, that looks like a full reset. Where is that cube, though? Oh, it's over there. Okay, well, we can totally go and get that now, right? I think. Well, I could have done it if I hadn't have dropped down here. That's now problematic because... Well, it's not, because that cube respawns, right? So if I press this button here... Cube respawns. Yes, okay. So... What we're going to do here is... We'll head back over here. Grab this cube. So I would want to get back. 
into there. And somehow activate that laser there to get that to push us up to that upper area over there. At some point. I really hope I got that mute done in time. If I didn't, I apologize. Um, more like a 7 out of 10 it took you 2 hours to solve. Yikes! platform. So that is off our bounds for us at the moment. <laughs> God, I look like I silently died. Epic. Okay, um... In that case... Oh, wait a second, I'm going to do that. So it would have to go to there. Okay, I could do that. Okay, so let me just go back here a moment. So we're going to need to hit that from there. But the way we get around this is we go down here, across to here. Shoot the portal there. And then shoot the there. Why does that go so high? That's interesting. Anyway, then we can fling across to here. Okay. Probably save here. This is progress. No worries, Mika. Open door policy on the exit. So from here Here I don't know what we do Oh, wait a second. What if we were to do... Uh, yes, okay. So what if we did instead...
what I'm thinking of doing is we need to cause a respawn on the cube. The cube drops down into this portal. Yeah, okay, so if I do this, then I do this, and then I use this over here. Respawn that cube there. That cube goes to the exit. That would be an ending move when I'm over on the other side, though. Hence the delay on this cube here. We'd almost do something like... That and that. Portal on there. Portal on there. I don't think that would buy us enough time. Hmm. But that's what I'm thinking. We cause a respawn by moving that panel. Somehow. It would have to be done, the laser portion of it would have to be done without, um, the laser portion of it would have to be done without a portal. Hmm. But we would need to delay even more. Going on, Nick. Uh, if you've got any maps that you would like us to play, uh, please use the uh, exclamation mark map request command, and then you'll be taken to my request form. Alright, so we're going to have to do this before. I still don't really know what about me. I still don't really know why that panel goes as high as it does, though. Yeah. 
how would we respawn stuff? There has to be there. Has to move across to there. You would have been. Yeah, there's still um, there's still a very active community um, on the uh, map map making side of things, Nick. Um, I've currently got about forty or so in my queue, of between forty and fifty in the queue at the moment that we're working through. Yeah, I'm I'm quite massively behind to be fair on maps. Um We have kind of had a bit of a break. Uh from things. In recent times, so yeah, that's where it's, we are quite are considerably behind on requests so up until uh, about a month and a half ago we were still dealing requests from last year so just sort of like a an indication of how far I was behind on stuff Should go around here really and do this I'm pretty sure we're not going to get around to that, unfortunately, Nick. That's where I used the cube before, though, isn't it? Because in that position... as well. I may have seen a way. Uh, or maybe not. I thought I'd seen a way to uh, get to the exit set up a little bit differently, but yeah, no.
Uh, yeah, there's always VOD to Metroham. Um, I upload the videos and they're normally live within a few days of them being on Twitch on YouTube. So um, you can, if you miss the live, you can always um, check out my YouTube link. If you're not already. So this doesn't work because once we've respawned the cube, we need to use the cube here to point over there like we've got this. So this is the best we would get from this setup at the moment. Uh, Nick, don't go into detail, mate, if you don't feel comfortable. <laughs> Honestly. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't put yourself under that sort of uh, pressure. All good. have everything that we can really interact with here. Um, currently in your... Um, difference here is now that this will put the cue oh hold on a minute Okay, so that's all well and good there. But with this setup, I can't do anything now because the panel's in the wrong position. of have an outrageous idea Stuff like that is not going to be intended. Big. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> I have to call it soon because uh, my uh, yawns are not getting. Less. Do that. Um, so we, we got this. Our pal's facing the other way. Oh, yeah, I can't do that because of that. That would have had to be on there. We then come through there, shoot that on there because we don't need yeah that would have been on there that's there we come up to here and like I did before we jump through here that puts us on the other side From here, Family does tend to go the extra mile. Family is uh, definitely a dab hand when it comes to um, designing pretty looking chambers with B mod. There's only four portal surfaces in this map. That's crazy. So the big conundrum, I guess, at this stage of the puzzle, the big, the big conundrum is, like, how do we swap cube from facing in there, from facing in there to enable that lift to like swapping around. got to remember, if the panel isn't there, the only other way to use the laser is with the cube. I mean, we came over here like that. And we've done that.
This is just like a step backwards from here. Do I only, do I have to, yeah, I have to use a cube if I'm going up into here. Just wonder if there was a way. See, this is where Q would need to be there, so I could shoot to there. will be puzzling indeed. It's, it's been that well, it's, it's the design of it as well, like the well, the good design here is like pushing all these receivers and things back so you have to hit them literally in line or else you cannot do anything with them. Flinging the cube over there just puts it onto the faith plate. Just not what we wanted. Sure, with this one. 
so I think that's probably going to be uh, good as any place to leave it for tonight. And when we're back streaming Community Chambers, which will be week Saturday, uh, we'll pick this up again just to see whether or not um, we can make any sort of progress with it. But guys, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And uh, tomorrow night we'll be back with Evoland 2, continuing our Let's Play of that. So uh, if you're around, please do feel free to hang by and... Uh, Join us, but until next time, guys, or whenever you are here next, I thank you once again for your support. As always, I've been Nock, you've been awesome, and until next time, stay safe and happy gaming.